All right, so today we're gonna go through 10 bottles and Dave and I have to pick one. Oh, this some, of these so are, some of these are gonna be hard. Yes. Because I feel like last time they weren't that hard for you. No, they weren't. So, all right. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are gonna pick one. All right, so here's how the game works. So basically I give two bottles and Dave and I have to pick between the two. I've tried to think of things that I think would be hard to pick from because last time whenever I did it for Dave, Dave was just like, bam, bam, bam. I mean, it's not as hard as what I thought it was gonna be for Dave. I mean, I'm looking over and I hate you for the last one. I just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the last the last one's kind of funny. So, uh, so yeah. All right, before we start, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notifications button. And yeah, let's get to it. All right. All right, so the uh, first one, that Dave has to pick one. I guess technically me as well. You have to pick between Georgie Stag, WLW. By the way, it doesn't matter on the year. Yeah, it doesn't. Just like yeah. whichever one you want. Um... I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick George C. Stag. Okay. Why? Why'd you pick Stag? I just feel like it's very consistent. Okay. Um. And very consistently good. <laughs> um, okay. And I've had this more than I've had this, okay. so I'm just leaning on what I know. Probably more than what I know. Although I do know that people love the William Lillery Weller. Well, so... But I don't know historically from year to year what that I is. think, honestly, until last year, I would have told you I would have picked Stag. Yeah. But I think because of last year, I think I've switched over to WLW now. Okay. Because, first off, they're both great. You're not missing out on either one of them. Elite, some of the best stuff you can find every year. With that being said, I feel like the WLWs, whenever I feel like whenever both of them are hitting, these just hit a little bit stronger. Okay, I understand that. And I, I wouldn't have said that until last year, and I don't know yeah. why my mind switched last year, but it did. Not. Last year's was really good. Last year's was awesome. Yeah. The, last year's GTS, whenever I had, I was like, man, this thing smokes. And I think, it, I think the first person I heard who had both of them was my buddy Scott, and he was like, yeah, but that WLW is better. I'm like, there is no way. And I tried it and I was like, yeah. Yeah, the WLW yeah, last year right. was really good. It's better. That's why I was. it was kind of a difficult process for me. All right. Next one. Wild Turkey Generations. Wild Turkey Single Rick House. Uh, this is, I hate to say this because I love both of these bottles, but it's not even close. And it's this. It's generation. Really? It's generation. I thought you were going to take single Rick. No. It's generation. Interesting. I, generations. This bottle is unbelievable. And I hate it. <laughs> and if you, when you see the re, our review of it, you're going to, I hate it, but I love it. <laughs> uh, I even hate this one, but not as much as I hate this one. Um, but this is just. Like, this is so good. It's really good. I mean, it's Price just, sucks, but it's really good. It's just so good. And this is so good, too. But what this does and what this does, if you were going to pay the difference that you have to pay to get either one of these <coughs> bottles, yeah, this is still stupid good. Yeah. And I bought this, and I've also paid to have three or four pours of it so in technicality if i wouldn't have bought this i could have spent the money and bought this yeah, I and i would have been super super happy i'm yeah. happy that i bought this but it's this yeah it's generations i would agree um just for the quality of liquid inside. i i think this is really close this one and the next one's gonna be yeah. a lot closer than what i want it to be yeah um we are going to do a big blind. We haven't done the blind yet since we're doing the video. Yeah. But I I kind of, I agree with you. I think the Generations is the winner. And I don't want to say it. You don't want to say it because of the price. But if we take price out of it. Yeah. And I get some people don't want to take price out. And I understand why. Yeah. But if we took the price out, I think Generations is the better bottle. I think this is also stupid good. Like, this is not something to be slept on. Yeah, I just think this I is I could better. see both of these being 
definitively in the top 10. Yeah, I agree. This is, to me, if I had to, if you put a gun to my head right now and said, choose bottle of the year, this is bottle of the year right now. Yeah. Well, ooh, bottle of the year. It's bottle of the year right now for me. Ooh, he would have said this about that bottle like a month ago. Yeah. It speaks highly of the wild turkey. I swear I thought I was going to knock that bottle off. <laughs> All right. Next one. Oh, gosh. Well, you have made this really difficult. <laughs> Meckers Mark Seller's age. Two different experiences. Two vastly different experiences. You got arguably one of the biggest distilleries in the world versus one of the little guys. I think I'm going to take little guy. Okay. I, you, I like this a lot. Why are you going to take little guy? Um, I think the depth of this, the just overall taste of this, this is the double oak, and I, um, I have a tendency to, to like a double oak a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so much you even make them in the cocktails. I do. And uh, this one I would not make into it. If I had this <clears> bottle, <throat> I, I, I swear to everything. If I had this did. bottle, uh, 13th Colony, if you want to send us a bottle, I'll take one. Yeah. Um, it, this is just, this drink's special. Yeah. This drink's really special. And I, I, I mean, I honestly love it that a craft distillery is punching up with the big boys uh, in, in a real way. I just. Well, I mean, this is a real conversation. Like, this isn't something that's like, oh, this is a no-brainer. Yeah. No, it's a real conversation. Yeah. So I agree with you on that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this one's really close. I thought about it. I haven't, I almost wanted to blind them, but then I thought that was kind of cheating. Um, well, you couldn't blind them because, they're, I mean, you would know what you were drinking. I guess that's true. I guess, like, I, I would sit there and I just, mean, like, if you drink could see, If you could them. see the difference in color, like, one you can see through, the other one is not so much. I think, <clears throat> I feel like... I do love this bottle, though. Oh, I do, too. Yeah. I feel like I would enjoy in, like, the seller's age more. So I'm picking the seller's age. I say that I think this 13th colony is going to be a monster in the blinds this year at the end of the year. I think so, too. And I think it's literally going to go through and just rip everybody a new one. In the blind. I like, can't I, wait. like, I think it's going to go through. Yeah, I can't wait. To me, I said this last year, that the small batch Koi Hill was just going to destroy everybody in blinds last year. And it wasn't even going to be close. And realistically, it wouldn't be close in anything. And I feel like that's going to be the same way. Now, the difference is last year, I felt like that small batch Koi Hill was like my absolute favorite of last year, to be fair. This is not my favorite. It's still great. It's awesome. But I just feel like I can foresee that happening yeah it's not my favorite either but but it's awesome yeah all right let's mix up a little bit we've had a lot of allocation something that's not like quite allocated but is a little difficult to find redemption tenure or sagamore cash strength <laughs> well you have not made this one easy at all <laughs> no. because you all know our love for sagamore love like, both of them yeah but definitely love sagamore too yeah. Um, this one, this is the bottle that we generally go to when we talk about redemption. Um, because this is, I mean, let's just be honest. Like, this is the bottle to have mm -hmm. if you're talking about redemption. Um, and as much as I love Sagamore, if I had to pick one, I think... I think I would go with the 10-year redemption. Okay. Uh, you explain why you would? Uh, there's just something, like, I, again, I love this. Mm -hmm. But there's there's just something in this that I, 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 just, I just really like about this rye. I don't know why, um, but I, I, just the flavor profile of it just kind of hits me in all the right spots. Every time I've tried this, every time we talk about this, mm -hmm. I try it and I go, yeah, this is, this is one of those bottles that are really good. And if you can find it, you should buy it because it's not, it's again, it's available, but it's not readily available. Yeah, it, and it is a little difficult. And Sagamore, find. like we can find Sagamore True. pretty regularly. Um, so it was actually really close. And it is super the, close. The other night, um, 
so I've just tell y'all a little inside baseball. Like I basically will take stuff. I will pour stuff in the sample jars and then I'll go through and I'll blind everything. And I write everything down. I guess what it is. I score everything. And I literally did both these back to back by accident. Yeah. I just pulled them out of the box. And that's yeah. what they got. This got a higher score. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the palette and the finish more on this. I did nice. like the nose more on this. Yeah. But I like the palette and finish on this. I almost would have thought it would have been the redemption tenure. Yeah. If you would have asked me, but if I wouldn't have done that by accident the other night, I would have I, I would have picked this. But since I did, I know I like this more. Yeah. And it was it was honestly not even close. Oh, awesome. I was shocked. I'd like to blind it then. It, I was shocked how much I enjoyed that. this much more. And I understand MGP, Ross and Squibb, blend with some of the stuff being Ross and Squibb sourced, obviously. Listen, but Sa it just tells you. It, like, I know they do their own thing, but it also tells you like whenever they get it, they ship it out and it stays other places and stuff like that. Yep. Just tells you there is change that happens with that. I'm just saying like they do their thing. They, I mean, we love Sagamore. So like, oh, yeah, I mean, sure. I hate, I hate choosing against them, but you did. I know I did. <laughs> All right. Last one. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> I did this be a jerk. Nickel, 15 year single barrel. There's single barrels. Does it matter? Uh, yeah. Single barrel. Yeah. Single barrel. Bullet rye. Just basic standard bullet rye. Now, the reason why I did this was just because... Because you hate me. We both don't like these. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of always picking out stuff that we enjoy, let's pick out something that we hate. Uh, almost made... I, I almost, and I forgot all about it, but we have to shoot another video afterwards, so it was a good thing it worked out this way. I was going to pour two samples blind for you, and you had to pick which of the two you liked more. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I think um, this is the only reason I would pick this. Uh, I think I would say will it. Um, only because I could get rid of this bottle in a sense of like I can get people to drink this bottle faster than I could probably get people to drink the Dickel <laughs> bottle. <laughs> And so, so you would pick the Willet because you could trick and convince people to drink that bottle instead of the Diggle. Not because it's better, not because it's good, whatever. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to pick the Willet just because I just think this single barrel from Diggle is terrible at the end of the day. Like, it's just... It's, I think it's one of the worst bottles I own. And this is pretty bad, too. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that Dickel is way worse than that. Yeah. That will. So uh, that is our 10 uh, pick Pick'em. ones. So let us know in the comments below. Go through, list which ones you all would have picked. Uh, let us know some good that, you know, you would think would be good, you know, pick ones or whatever for our future video. Yeah, we like doing these. Yeah. I actually do <laughs> like doing this video because, I mean, it makes you really think through from a I agree I think your eyes tell you more of a story in this than than what your your palette does yeah I I agree with that yeah. so let us know in the comments below which ones you'd like to see maybe in the future and uh, until next time we'll see you we'll see you